Oh. Hello, Chesapeake Tea families, and welcome to the Facebook Friday show. I'm Meg Killingsworth, your family engagement coordinator, here with our Pathways teachers today, and we are so excited to be talking to this fun group. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. Hi. Let's start by introducing. First off, we have Christy Waters, our PE teacher. Hey, everybody. Then we have Jennifer Reese, our audiovisual or AV teacher. Oh. Hey. <laughs> there with baby Riley in the background. <laughs> Next, we have Julie Hubbard, our art teacher. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. We've got Kathy Johnson, our science teacher. Hey, guys. Miss you. We've got my partner in crime lately, Lisa Bruce, our instructional technology specialist. Hey, friends. And Lori Grindle, another PE teacher. Get, hey, guys, miss you. We've got Melanie Roper, our music teacher. Hi, guys. And we've got Sarah Wiggins, our media specialist. Hey, guys. <laughs> it is so good to see everybody's face. So, Melanie, let's start with you and share a little bit about the Pathways courses. Well, all of our Pathways teachers have put some incredible lessons on our It's Learning lessons. And you'll notice they're kind of all short and sweet now, but we're on an eight-day rotation. So we still have wonderful activities. So go on and find our lessons and do them on your rotation. That is wonderful. I know kids look forward to those every day. And uh, Kate goes to yours a lot, Miss Roper, and likes the music. And then she'll say, there's not a new one. And I'll say, a day <laughs> rotation, a day rotation. So go to the others, please. So, oh, that's cute. so fun. Well, we've got a lot of things exciting going on in each pathway. So we wanted each teacher to be able to share a little bit um, with you during this extended online learning time. So Miss Waters, let's start with you. All right. We Actually, this year is going to be a little bit different because we're at home. So we're actually going to do a virtual field day this year. And I have reached out to other PE teachers in the north end of the county. And they were so excited to be able to do it together. So be looking for, we're calling it the NOFO North Forsyth field day this year. And we're going to be um, linking our videos that we put together into the It's Learning pages for our students. That is amazing. We're and I know we excited. that so much because, you know, so many places would just cancel. Right. And we appreciate that you're going to keep it going and we're just going to do it differently this year. Yeah. Just be looking for it on May the 8th. It's going to come out to everybody on May the 8th. Awesome. Great. Miss Reese, how about you? Yeah, we've got some fun things going on with the daily news, which I hope you all are seeing. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so make sure you watch that daily for some fun videos people are sending in. And of course, if you want to participate, just reach out to me and email me and let me know. I have openings um, for all the spots available that you see daily. Or if you have an idea for the news, you could also send that to me. And then something fun that's coming up on the news is um, Talent Tuesday coming up on May 19th. So if you have a special talent that you want to share, just... Oh, cool. Again, reach out to me, let me know, or just send me your um, video. That is exciting. Awesome. And the news has really kept us connected, so that's been quite fun. Yeah, it was fun you. seeing everyone's videos. Yes. Oh, yes. Miss Hubbard, how about you? Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I also want to tell Miss Reese, you've done such a great job with the news. I mean, we are really yeah. enjoying it every day. You're doing such a good job with that, and I just love it. So I wanted to give you a shout out um, for that. But yeah, a lot's going on with art. Um, first of all, um, virtual field day that's coming up. There's going to be an art activity, a special art activity for the next rotation. It's going to go along with um, the field day and has something to do with like the Olympics. So I think it'll be kind of fun. So there'll be a, an activity in there for you to do for field day starting on May 3rd. Um, that will be in its learning for you. Yeah, thank um, you, Ms. Ever. <laughs> yes, um, I also wanted to talk to you for just a second about Art Show. Now, you know, 
I was so sad. Um, art show was scheduled on the 20, oh, excuse me, the 31st of, of uh, March, and we didn't get to do that. And also Fine Arts Night, Chorus was singing that night. Um, and so that is like a really, really big deal. I actually delivered the art to the company the day before we had the quarantine. So um, we've kind of been in limbo, but I want to give everybody the information that we are going to have the art show. Um, our plan is now to have a tentative date in October. Um, okay. I'm trying to get that um, narrowed down so that we can have that show. If you're a fifth grade student, um, you're going to be able to come back to the show um, and you'll be able to see your picture um, on display and your parents can um, come and we would love to have you come back. Um, so my plan is to do that in October and then also we'll have our normal show um in march uh next year but i do want to reschedule the show that we're missing because i know everybody wanted to be there and i wanted to do it too so that's that's kind of what's going on with art well that's awesome and what a great opportunity for fifth graders to be able to come back and visit so that yeah. that's a great idea super fun <clears throat> all right miss johnson how about you Hey guys, um, I hope that you've been enjoying some of the activities I've put this rotation. We're doing a scavenger hunt and getting you outside. You can do it with your family if you want to. Next rotation, we're going to be doing some chemistry. So um, nice. you'll get to do nice. something at home with your parents. Fantastic. Nice. That's awesome. I know you're putting a lot of effort into those lessons to make them engaging. So thanks, Ms. Johnson. Sure. Bruce. I just wanted to say, um, I don't, you guys know, I don't have lessons. Um, I just go around and help everybody. I just want to tell um, all of you, the kids out there and parents out there, um, how much we appreciate how hard you're working. We know that this is a, you know, different, difficult time for everyone, but we're so proud of the um, effort that you're putting forth on your online learning. Yes. So great job, guys. That's right. Great job. <laughs> We Super. love you, Bruce. <laughs> Super amazing. Miss Brindle. Hey, guys, we miss you. Um, one thing that I would like to say is I know you spend a lot of time online. Don't forget PE is about exercise, and the weather has been beautiful. So get outside, play, run, chase, play tag. Miss Hubbard and I have been social distancing and meeting and walking each day so you can find a friend and do that or just get outside and move that's the most important thing for you it's healthy for your mind uh it's great for your body and as soon as we can get back to school we'll start back to our regular routine but we do miss you guys so much that's awesome good uh good advice there miss brindle so important to get out and enjoy the sunshine and great weather miss roper how about you well, I I have been trying to learn how to play the ukulele while I've been at home sitting here in front of my computer. So uh, if you have a chance and you got a musical instrument laying around the house, now would be a good time to be trying to figure out how to play it. Keyboards, guitars, you know, anything you got laying around. Or if you made one of my wonderful uh, Corona kazoos that I gave instructions for online, yes, you can practice you. playing that there. <laughs> I got some videos of kids performing on it, so it's been really entertaining. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and there's free music lessons on YouTube. Who would have guessed? That's right. uh, yeah. you, know, you have a musical instrument. Check them out. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. And we'll end with you, Miss Wiggins. What's happening from the Media Center? Thank you so much. Well, y'all know we had our March Madness book brackets, and we had like over 300 kids go online and vote for their books. That was so much fun. Sadly, it's over, but we did have our two champions, so they'll reign champions until next year, and we'll do it again next year. But um, I am just so thankful for how many kids go on. I do choice boards on mine, so the kids get to choose what they want to do each time, and I love that y'all are sharing it with me. When you go in and you make a picture and you share it with me, or I even had some kids who recorded themselves reading, and they shared it with me. So I love to see your work. I hate that I can't see you but I love to see your work. So feel free to send those things through my Google or even my regular email, whatever you need. You can chat with me on It's Learning. If you need to just reach out to us, we're right here for you. That's amazing. 
Well, I cannot thank you enough for joining <laughs> us, Pathways team. It was so fun to see you and to hear about all the great things you're doing. And thank you because I know um, with all the hard work that kids are doing online, uh, the Pathways is something they look forward to during the day. And so it's something that uh, they hop on and it's like, hey, I'm going to spend some time doing this. And it's um, fun. So thank you for all your hard work with that. Well, families, thanks for joining us today for this like Brady Bunch rendition of Facebook <laughs> Friday. Um, we hope you're doing well, staying well, and uh, happy weekend. We'll see you all real soon. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. 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 Bye.